Hey Leo, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. How are you guys? Hope you guys are doing great. This message is going to be for my Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Might not resonate with every single Leo. If it doesn't, make sure to check out your other placements or get a personal reading with me. Information is down in the description on how to book a personal reading with me if you're interested. If this message resonates, with you and you would like to support the channel please do so by liking the video and subscribing if you're new help me reach 100k all right leos leos in the motherfucking building happy leo season happy birthday to all my leos out there let's get some written messages here person on your mind what's going on with leo so we have yes i'm in love no rush We have meeting funds. What the hell? Yeah, that good. Yeah. I miss holding you out. So what the hell? There's somebody in your energy, Leo, that like they're in love with you, they love you, but they're like in not a, they're not in any real hurry to either come towards you or make it official or claim the connection or whatever they could have money issues and they're like drowning in debt i don't know they could be asking for money from you leo or if it's not asking for money from you their main focus is getting money at this point they do miss you they miss holding you being in your energy i lack self-love that's why i keep hurting you yeah this person, I want to say they, they didn't grow up with the best role models, all right? We got, I feel like I've lost you forever. You're tired of their shit, whoever this is. I hold on to you because you're my blessing. So somebody in your energy, Leo, they don't really deserve you, you know? You could have possibly helped this person a lot in their life. You could help them with money and everything. Like you could have helped them try to like get their life on track. Um, because you know their upbringing or something. Like you know that they didn't have it easy or they don't have it easy. And I don't want to say you took pity on this person, Leo. But you know, you may be, you may be like, you know, Leos have a heart, you know. The heart is... I think one of the, the body part for Leo, it's the heart, I believe. So definitely Leo energy associated with heart chakra. Um, they don't love themselves, which is why they it was a reflection. So basically how they act, Leo, is not a reflection really of you. It's a reflection of them. Two more. We got, do you ever think of me? So they're wondering if you think of them, Leo, if you miss them the way that they miss you. And we have, I don't feel obligated to commit, non-committal. So this connection has maybe always just been beneficial to this person and not beneficial to you, Leo. And that's why, obviously, you, you're not in it, whether or not they walk themselves about your life or you show them the door. It's like they know that they can't step to you or something like that. This could have came out of nowhere. It's giving tower energy. It could be dealing with Aries or Scorpio. Yeah, because of this, this person's ish, like you started to see their control tactics and they stopped working. This came out reversed. This person was trying to control you, trying to manipulate you. And that made you grow out of love with them or be less attracted to them. Um, you probably still care about this person, but their ways are what got in the way of this connection ending. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. There's no possibility for a reunion because of how this person acted. For some of you guys, I'm hearing they're dead to me. I'm not sure if it's that. <laughs> If it's that brutal, Leo, of how you feel about them, but 
you're definitely trying to move on with your life because this person was a user like they used you and for some of you they never really planned on a hundred percent committing to the connection because they felt like they had time to just do whatever the hell they wanted to do and that you they were in no rush for like a relationship or an actual label on something and you're like no that made you less attracted to whoever this is their lack of commitment towards you seeming like they only come towards you when they want something kind of vibe we have vulnerability here the situation is challenging someone to take the risk to be emotionally available and open like you want this person to be emotionally available for you you want them to be open you want them to expose to you how they really feel about you you want them to be honest about their feelings and be honest about their issues that they have and they never were able to do that in the past we have harmony this partnership will experience more peaceful and pleasant interactions so for some of you guys this person's coming back around and you guys are going to have a conversation this is going to be maybe shocking for some of you guys okay one more But some of you will have to develop some boundaries when it comes to them because, you know, they can't just come right on back, waltzing into your life, asking for money, asking for X, Y, Z, like whatever they used to get from you, Leo. Um, they might feel like they can still just hop right back on in and everything's going to be the same. The fact of the matter is they've broken your trust. You don't look at them the same. You're not as attracted to them as you used to be. And that's just not even just physical, you know. It's it's mentally, it's emotionally, all of those things. You're not on the, you know, this person is going to have to earn all of that back. And you need to be clear about that, Leo. I know that you love this person. I know you have a big heart when it comes to them. But they will walk all over you yet again if you allow it, okay. They will expect what you've always given them if you allow it so tell me about this person's energy if this is resonating sure like the video leah tell me about their energy yeah this is the broke bitch <laughs> this person needs money because they spend money too much they're irresponsible they could have like business plans and and you know aspirations that always fall through i don't know virgo towards capricorn energy they're really materialistic they could spend they could spend money too much on trying to look the part yeah this is funny this person tries to act like a king of pentacles or they looked at you as their meal ticket, their king of pentacles. And this is why the connection failed. This, uh, who the hell is this? Somebody looked at you as like their bank or some shit. I don't know. And, you know, it's really weird if this is a masculine, y'all. If this is a masculine doing this, like, I have no respect for this person at all. Even if it's a feminine, like, if you're going to want to be with a, a, you know, a masculine because you want him to provide for you, okay, cool. But you got to also do something on your end as well. Like, I feel like they want everything from you, but they don't want to give any, anything. Why is this nine of This is like really dusty energy. This person is so closed off and they don't believe in themselves. Their, those, their self-esteem is so damn low, like it's in the gutter. Like, it's in the gutter. This could be somebody who would literally have sex with somebody for money. Like, I'm not kidding. King of Pentacles. Who's this King of Pentacles? Wow, this is some crazy shit I'm channeling for y'all. this person makes you feel bad about if you if you put your foot down and you're not giving them money like they will make you feel bad about that shit you'd be up at night feeling like you're that's your responsibility or something like that's your child that is not your damn child 
y'all were together or trying to be anyway y'all were in a connection a situation ship whatever the hell this is that is not your response this person this grown-ass person is not your responsibility leo the hell had enough nerve to fight about it if you wouldn't give them money or if you would not be this stability this stable source for them you got got you feeling like this person was a burden or is a burden they are a burden they are not somebody that you could be romantically interested in as you started seeing this shit about them it made you cringe i want to say I feel like they've burnt their bridges with everybody else, so they make you feel like you're responsible for them. Why is this letter reverse? Even though I know why. Shit. This is what destroys the connection. This person doesn't have a damn backbone. Like they don't they don't have anything to stand on. Mm -hmm. Y'all bossed up. That's why they became more unattracted to you. Some of you guys could have found someone else who's in a more stable secure um boss energy could be another fire sign you guys linked up with okay or a scorpio or a capricorn um you're done with toxicity you're done with this person's toxic ways like you're done with their control tactics which is what i said like you're moving on past this chapter past this person which is awesome like they're not attracted to you anymore um you started seeing that this person's like they are they're, they're looking for you as their stability but they're not giving any stability in return like i don't i don't know so what's this this conversation these pleasant interactions are coming up then what are their future actions towards leo Open up to you more um emotionally so there could be an emotional conversation that you have like they could finally kind of tell you why they've been so closed off and why they've been so held back um and they're not going to be as defensive or guarded about that conversation they could want to try to come towards you and and be romantic with you but i feel like sad to say like it's because they miss you and they miss your money and they miss like the something that you do for them leo i hate that i do not like this energy i do not like this person they are a user that part has never changed but i do feel like you guys are gonna have maybe a little romantic conversation or something like i don't know you could have like a restart why is this knight of cups here You hear that phone going off? That could be what's about to happen. Okay, you about to get some messages. Your phone gonna start be blowing. Your phone gonna start blowing up again. Yeah, they can't. Go they can't walk away from you. That's why they're coming towards you. They can't get over you. They can't escape the toxicity. They want to keep pulling you back into their toxicity, Leo. You you gotta. That's why boundaries came out. You need to clearly draw the line with this person and be like, you know what? We could be cool, like I, I'm, you know, if, I'm, if you're going through something, I could be a listening ear for you. But other than that, I'm not giving you any money. I'm not doing that. Okay, you know what I'm hearing? If this is not a romantic person, like a person you're in a relationship with, this could be a friend that does this to you all the time. This could be a family member that does this to you all the time. They come through and they're so sweet to you. They're so like all into you when they want something and then they disappear after you've given it to them. Be careful of people like that, Leo, that are gonna like just be vampires to your energy and to your resources. Like this person really looking at you like you're the king of pentacles. I mean, that could tickle some of y'all, but to be honest like this person just wants what they want and then once they get it they go back to their old ways it's really a lot of you guys are done with their shit to be honest um they're going to be vulnerable with you in a conversation coming up like i said i feel like they're going to be blowing your phone up pretty soon but it's only because they want something from you leo okay i feel like that's the message for for leo watching let me do a single energy real quick a singles spread for those of you guys who aren't dealing with anybody. Damn it. So, yeah. 
know, like I said, you got to be getting blown up. <laughs> you gonna hear that phone ding, ding, or vibrate and shoot. All right. Leo singles, what's coming towards them? Leo singles. Leo singles. <laughs> what is this? Okay. All right, you can have another Leo coming towards you, a Pisces, an Aries, a Scorpio, a Cancer, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Now, this is an impatient person. They're going to be very persistent. But this person got mental health issues, y'all. I feel like they're not a very happy person. Um, they're not in a very good energy when they come towards you. They could be, po they could have possessive traits like they could be a little toxic and that's exactly what you're trying to escape from. They're very assertive though. Like that might turn some of y'all on, but remember you're escaping toxicity in your toxic ways. Like be, be honest with yourself, Leo. Some of y'all like a little toxic person. Okay. Why is the sun here in reverse? So you might need to really distance yourself from toxic energy or people that show those tendencies. If they show you a red flag pretty early on, get up out of there, Leo, is basically what I'm telling you. They could be still sad and depressed behind something not working out from their past, y'all. They could not be all the way over something. And this that's why I feel a rushed energy. Didn't I say that? You could be a rebound, Leo. Don't let that happen. There's somebody coming towards you that's been watching you. Possibly they're going to send you a message, whether it's a DM or however they message you. They're going to be very charming and it's going to be fun and flirty, but... They could be just wanting to kind of like sleep with somebody quickly after a breakup, after some type of heartbreak. Somebody's still hung up on their ex, whoever this energy is coming towards you. Why is this four of pentacles here though? Like, are they going to get attached real easy? Like, what the heck? Okay. Yeah, this person might get attached real easy because they feel like they don't have any other options or choices and nobody's checking for them right now. <laughs> But you, Leo, if you let this person in, if you let this person get some, Leo, they're going to be on you like white on rice and they're going to be like, oh, yeah, we go together. We're, we're together. I don't know what you're talking about. But all the while, they're still not really all the way over their ex. Like, it's it's a hot mess. I feel like, Leo, if you're single, you need to just be remaining, focusing on yourself, focusing on establishing good boundaries between you and people that use you. You have a very magnetic energy as a Leo. And so I feel like Leos experience a lot of users, like a lot of people that use you for your energy, for your um, time, for your generosity, for your loyalty, um, for your popularity. People will use you for clout. Like, I just feel like Leo, you guys have to be really, really selective about who you allow around you because you can be taken advantage of because you're so kind in the beginning. Like I say in the beginning because Leos are pretty easygoing and social and friendly. And you guys, it takes you a little minute to, I don't want to say catch on like you're dumb or anything like that. But it takes you a little minute to see when someone's taking advantage of you. But once you see that shit, you're out of there typically and you can really cut people off with no remorse and just find a new one typically <laughs> leo's like not to say that y'all don't feel hurt and pain because you obviously do you're human beings but like once somebody shows you in certainty who they are leo you guys will make a person feel really bad typically about it without having to do too much like sometimes leo y'all got that revenge game too um where someone's cheating on you you'll just cheat back kind of vibe i've known a lot of leos that do that um rather than just leaving the situation some y'all will be like no i'm gonna cheat back like i'm gonna just play the game you know um what they think i can't get nobody okay watch me like that's kind of the energy of leos and i know leos i've known a lot of them so um, I'm a Sag, so, you know, Leo and Sag tend to be besties, 
So I've known a lot of little secrets, both masculine and feminine Leos. So that's what I have for you, Leo. I feel like y'all need to just be focusing on yourself and keeping all that good energy to yourself and to the people that actually reciprocate it and, and you know, you don't feel like you're being used or the connections are strained or any way, okay? That's what I have for you. Be sure to like the video and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.